It's that time of year again, Black Friday and the holiday season. So what is the best strategy to bring in big sales and big revenue for your e-commerce store? That's coming up. Welcome back. I hope you're having a great week and I hope your holiday season's already off to a great start. If you're new here, my name's Carrie, and on this channel, we bring you the best strategies, secrets, and hacks to grow your online business. And whether you're new or coming back, I wanna wish you a very happy Thanksgiving this week to you and your family, from me and my family. And I hope you have also have a great holiday season, both in your business and with your family. So with that being said, today we're gonna to dive into my six best tips, uh, just gathered from my experience, for you to have a huge Black Friday and a huge holiday season. I'm gonna give you some great ideas and some great tips just to crush it this holiday season. So let's jump into the tips. Before we jump into tip number one, I wanna let you know that if for any reason you've been somewhat dormant in your e-commerce business all year, or maybe you're just back getting back into it, or if you just haven't been as consistent as you'd like to be this year, I wanna let you know that the holiday season is the perfect time to jump in and really start going hard in your business for lack of a better term. People are more apt to buy, their wallets are open, and I think this year in 2020, especially with the growth that we've seen in e-commerce all year with the virus and everything going on, people spending more money online and shifting their shopping online from you know, going to retail during the holiday season, um, I think you're gonna have incredible results even if you haven't been as consistent as you'd like to this year in your business. So now is the time to kick it into high gear, start sending those emails, running those ads, getting out there, posting on social media, connecting with your audience, and you're gonna see some huge sales numbers this year. And I believe we're gonna see sales numbers like we've never seen this year in e-commerce because people are spending all the money online. So let's jump into tip number one. Tip number one is be creative and think outside the box when it comes to your sales and discounts. You know, you're gonna kind of blend in with all the other retailers out there. If you're just offering a 10% or 20% discount or 30% discount, you know, everybody's gonna be offering those kind of discounts. And I think that you should really be thinking of creative ways that you can offer your products, bundles, different things like that, and just unique ways to catch people's attention and offer your products at a discount. Um, there's, you know, a, a belief out there and it's really what one of my mentors taught me when I was first starting out that no matter what you do, you're going to make sales on Black Friday and throughout the holiday season. And I agree with that, but I think that you can really up your game by being creative, doing things like BOGO discounts or buy one, get one half off or, you know, a dollar amount off as opposed to a, a discount or just being creative and thinking of fun ways to engage with your audience during the holiday season. So I recommend don't just do the standard discounting, be creative, maybe have a little brainstorming time for you to sit down for 30 or 45 minutes and come up with some ideas that you can offer your uh, ideas for ways that you can offer your products in a unique and fun way and you'll see more success. Tip number two is to have your own unique sales days. And of course you're gonna have the typical sales on Black Friday, Cyber Monday, maybe Christmas Eve, you know, New Year's Day, those kind of things. But I wanna encourage you to kind of create your own days where you have your own unique sales. Now an example of that would be like Amazon Prime Day. Now, Amazon just came up with Prime Day and made their own special day. That way they're not competing with everybody else. Now obviously in Amazon's case, like the biggest company in the world, so uh, other businesses are gonna catch up and obviously other businesses are already doing sales on Prime Day. But I wanna encourage you to think about your niche. How could you play into your niche and create some holiday sales that are just unique to your business? This is a great way to engage with your audience and to have some fun. For example, if you're in the dog niche, you could just have a Christmas for dogs days. You could have a cool name for it related back to your business name. And this could be a off day, uh, like not on Black Friday or Cyber Monday or these, these typical days, but you can kind of pick your own day and have a day where, you know, it's all about getting a big discount to buy, you know, Christmas gifts for your dogs. So think about your niche and think about if there's a fun way that you could add your own special days. Think Amazon Prime Day. Think something related to your niche where you can be unique and just have some fun with it. Tip number three is to do some exclusive sales. This is a little bit similar to my last tip, but what I mean by exclusive sales is having some requirements on the sale to qualify. For instance, you could have a sale that's only for your email subscribers. That way people have to be on your email list in order to get access to the secret sale. You could do something only for your social media followers 
or you could hold a live stream and only have that sale running while you're doing the live stream or make people attend the live stream in order to get the details about the sale. Again, this is another really fun way to engage with your audience. And it's just I, really with all these tips, I want you to be creative in ways that you can get people's attention, that you can, you can engage with your audience, that you can build those relationships. So I think this is a really, really cool way to do that. And if you combine this tip with the last tip and did kind of an exclusive sale on a special day, I think that's a really cool way to, again, just up your game this holiday season. Tip number four is to run ads. A lot of people don't run ads on the holiday season for whatever reason, but in my experience, when you run ads around the holiday season, you get much better results. Now there's a couple caveats to that. One, usually like Facebook ads and on, you know online ads will cost a little bit more around the holidays. That's because more companies are pouring money into ads. But on the other side, the conversion rate goes so high and people are so apt to buy and spend money around the holidays that in my experience, the ads end up working a lot better and I end up making a lot more money than I normally would uh, n not during the holiday season. So my ads become a lot more profitable, even though it costs a little bit more to reach people. But I definitely encourage you to run ads because like I said, this is the time people are ready to buy. So you want to get some budget out there and run some ads on Facebook or wherever you want to run ads, Facebook, you know, Instagram, Pinterest, this is the time to do it. If there was ever a time. So grab your best products, grab those sales that you've been creating, hopefully with the last tips, put out some ads and get people to come and buy tip. Number five, send a lot of emails. <laughs> you cannot send too many emails around the holidays. Uh, you're going to see from big companies, you know, the, the big e-commerce companies out there, they're going to be sending a ton of emails, a lot more than normal, really starting in about October, beginning of November, they're going to be sending a lot of emails. So I encourage you send a ton of emails, you know, at least every other day or so, but really I'd encourage you to consider sending emails every day. Again, people are so apt to buy around this time of the year. So you want to capitalize on that and people will not get annoyed with your emails as much like they would normally, because you're going to be offering a lot of discounts, offering a lot of sales, and it's going to be stuff that they want to buy, obviously for presents and that kind of thing around the holiday holiday season. So send a lot of emails. If you feel like you're sending too much, send some more. You can't send enough emails between October and the end of the, and the end of the year. So get out there, write some emails, send a ton. Tip number six, my final tip is bundles and upsells. Make sure you have bundles and upsells set up in your store and that you're, you're utilizing those. This is Christmas. Like this is the biggest buying time of the year. I know I've said that a million times during this video already, but I really want you to make, to make sure that you understand that you can't bundle enough. You can't offer enough upsells. This is the time to offer like you never have going along with sending emails and all that kind of stuff. So the first thing you want to do is be thinking about what products complement each other that people would want to buy as a gift, right? When you buy, you know, a t-shirt, you might want to add this hat that's that matches or is similar. People are going to be way more apt to take your upsells and to take the bundle deals and also be thinking about, you know, different kinds of family members that they might be buying for. For instance, if you're selling a lot of products for moms, well, you might want to add a, uh, an upsell for a dad product that maybe kind of complements that, right? So if they're coming to buy a gift for their mom, they might add, they might be more apt to add on something for a dad uh, while they're there shopping for mom. So be thinking about that. Even if you don't have the perfect bundle or the perfect upsell, make sure that you just have them in place because I guarantee something will catch people's eye, especially if you're offering like those bundled discounts and you will sell a ton more stuff. So don't miss the opportunity to capitalize on upsells and bundles that even maybe aren't working during the rest of the year. They will work during this time of year to cap this video off. The message I want to get through to you about the holiday season is that you have to be active. Even if you haven't been active throughout the year at the level that you want, you have to be active this holiday season. You've got to send a lot of emails. You've got to run ads. You've got to be out there posting on social media, go live, go live on your Facebook page on your Instagram or in your Facebook group. If you have a Facebook group, be active because people are looking to spend money. This is really the one time a year where people are looking at you and they're like, sell me something, please. I'm looking for gifts, right? I know myself when I'm shopping for family, it can be difficult for certain members of my family to figure out what to buy them. And when it comes to my kids, 
I almost, I feel like I never stop spending money around Christmas. I just want to keep buying them more gifts and more gifts. And I know my family and most everybody is going to be doing 80, 90, 100% of their shopping online. So capitalize on that right now. This is the time to go all in, in your e-commerce business. So take these tips, go back and crush it this holiday season. If you have not started your e-commerce store, if you've not set up your business yet, or maybe you're using a service like WooCommerce or BigCommerce or one of these other platforms, I want to encourage you to give Shopify a try. Shopify has been my e-commerce platform of choice for over three years. It is super easy to use. It has so many features. And if you're interested in print on demand, Shopify is the place to do print on demand. There's like hundreds of different print on demand providers for you to sell t-shirts and apparel and hats and mugs and all kinds of different stuff. So you can get a 14 day free trial of Shopify by just using the link in the description. That is an affiliate link, but you can grab a 14 day free trial, get your store set up. You can be selling before your free trial even runs out. So hit that link in the description, get your 14 day free trial, and I'll see you on Friday.